Hey everybody, it is July the 5th today and today is going to be a pretty cool day. Um, at my work, uh, I work for the, the city of Delta and we're hosting a bicycle race called the Tour de Delta. So and this happens over the weekend, starts on the Friday and wraps up on the Sunday, starts July the 5th, 6th and 7th. So today uh, we're just getting ready to get set up here. Uh, I'm gonna be working with some colleagues and I'll pan around, you can see behind me some of the grounds that are getting set up. Uh, I'll take you through the course as we're setting, setting the course up. Uh, it's gonna be pretty interesting. You guys will get to see uh, how the city that I work for, how we host these events and uh, how everything gets set up and accomplished as people work together. And it's a big event. Um, we usually have pretty good turnouts of people that do show up to see the event. It gets televised as well. And we have riders coming from uh, all over the world come to this. So once we get set up and going, I'll show you guys uh, what the course looks like. All right, take care. I got that on camera. Oh, Then we're gonna throw two on and whatever we have left we'll come back and top up.
so race course is all set up took us I think probably about three and a half four hours to get set up that's all done um, one thing I'll show you guys is some of the excursions that they have here uh, this is a very family orientated event uh, and it draws a lot of the people that live in our city to come out and experience a lot of the different companies that uh, work out of our area work out of our city uh, and then get to showcase a lot of their wares that are here so I'll take you guys up this is uh, a lot of the recreational facilities um, that are set up or more geared for the kids so I'll flip this around and I'll show you what we present here and how we make it fun for everybody involved these are like bicycle courses for young kids to drive around uh, it's a junior firefighters challenge where kids get to pretend they're firefighters and run through an obstacle course uh, they got huge trampoline bungee jumping devices where the kids are there's always the lineup for this but the kids have absolute blast on this this is a lot of fun they get up there pretty high too so we got food carts we have miniature golf course for putting uh, and yeah lots of people my boys love this one they want to try that but look at the lineup the lineups huge for it they got bouncy castles for the kids to go play in um, so yeah there's always lots to do uh, I'll take you over to where the race starts I think they're getting ready for the women's criterium to get started um, I work the event so I can get you guys in to uh, a lot of the off-limit areas which uh, will be good for, for the video uh, so but yeah it's a good turnout lots of people this is the VIP section over here and here you can sit down you can have your drinks you can have a glass of wine have a beer and watch the event so that's always fun in there you gotta that's I think it's a cost of I think $50 to get in we'll pick up here and we'll see if we can get up close to the start line and we'll show you guys how these races start and then I'll take you down to crash corner which is pretty exciting because they get into excess speeds of like I think close to 70 kilometers per hour so I'll turn this around and show you to get this women's race underway. Just still waiting from our, our uh, race director, Mark Ernstein. We are good to go. So we count them down, ladies and gentlemen. Let's make some noise here for these women to get them going. 40 laps to go. Riders ready in three, two, one. And off they go on the course and uh, Fortunately, we've got the Jumbotron up there so you can come down and watch as Haley Gill and Kimley Gibson uh, on the front of the bike race as they round the corner down from 84th. As you can see, just coasting, coasting now as the riders uh, complete a full lap, they'll be going really quickly around that corner as Haley Gill leads them around from the InstaFun La Prima team, the new team out of Vancouver. They're going to be sitting more in the pack and waiting for the finish as you get uh, Hagensburg and Superman on the front right there. That's the number 217. That's Starla Tendergreen moving through to Portland, Oregon. And that's one of the teams I think that we'll try to use. So that's uh, the Tour de Delta 
uh, the course setup and some of the women's riders that went out. Men's riders are getting ready to start their race now. The women have been riding for almost an hour. Um, so it's been a good race. The weather's kind of holding out. We had a little bit of rain, but it stopped. So I'm probably gonna end the vlog here because once the men start racing, um, I have to get my crews back in position um, for the teardown after the course is done. I think that overall it's about a three and a half hour event. Uh, so by the time we get cleaned up, I'm anticipating uh, we should be done around 11 or 11.30 at night. And then tomorrow, uh, I'll do another quick vlog because we're going to be racing. Today we're up in North Delta racing. Uh, tomorrow we'll be down in Ladner, doing the Ladner course. So I got to be back at our work yard for 6 o'clock in the morning, which means up by 5 o'clock in the morning. And I think that race finishes at around 9 o'clock tomorrow. And then the Sunday race is out in South Delta, which is called Tawasson. And I'll have to be up again at five and at the work yard by six. So I'll end the vlog here and maybe do some more tomorrow. Okay, right, bye. Morning everyone. It's day two for the Tour de Delta. Today we're gonna to be setting up the course down in the Ladner for the Ladner Criterium. Um, this is gonna be a big one too, a uh, lot more hay. Uh, you can see some of the equipment behind me that we packed up from last night's event. Uh, this one goes all day, so 5 o'clock in the morning, we're up and getting mobile to get down here. It's just about 6 o'clock now in the morning. Um, a lot of my uh, crew and colleagues are going to be showing up to our work yard, and we'll be heading into the Ladner core, and we'll start getting that course set up. Everything should be set up by, I'd say, 8 o'clock, 8.30, 9-ish. Um, and then we'll start working with Delta Police on doing full closures. So yeah, it's going to be another busy day. Yesterday I got home. I think by the time I got home, it was about quarter after 12. Had a shower and got cleaned up and then into bed by 1 o'clock. And then up at quarter to 5. So it's... The eyes are a little bit red because I'm tired, but uh, we'll get going today. The weather, I see a little bit of blue in the sky, which is great, so we don't get rained on for the event. Um, but yeah, it's going to be a big day today, so a uh, quick vlog here, and then we'll hopefully get some more video footage of us setting up the course, and then uh, the actual event once it takes place. I'll get a lot better video footage down in there because it's a tighter course so I can get right out onto the track almost where the riders are riding. And uh, I don't know if you guys have ever seen a bicycle race before, but these are the professional riders in the world. Um, they come from all over the world and they get in excess of speed up to 70, 75 kilometers per hour and they hold that pace for over an hour. So. These guys are professional athletes and they're pretty amazing to watch. So, uh, saying that, uh, we'll see you down in the Ladner Core and we'll start getting that set up. Take care. Okay, so we just finished setting up the course. Um, it's a closed course now, which means no vehicles can get in. We have some of the riders out doing the test run. We have the kids doing their initial first run first. This is some of them coming right now. So I believe this age group is six to eight years old and they get to go out before the pro riders and do their uh, lap for a race and see who comes first. So it's good for them. Good exercise and uh, gets them into the sport of cycling. So we'll keep moving down. I'll take you guys throughout the course and periodically show you some of the areas that we have staged up. Hi. So as we get down further, I'll take you down where the uh, our Delta police have stationed their incident command. Um, like I say, we're in the downtown core 
of Ladner right now and we've completely shut down uh, the city center of Ladner. So I'll take you and show you a couple areas. This is called Team Alley. This is where all the pro riders uh, set up and get their bikes ready. But you can see some of the bikes are pretty specialized. Uh, they're pretty cool. Actually, we'll go down. That's a complete round, so enjoy your day. Yeah, that kid zone is open until 6 30 on Elliott Street at the Harbor Center parking lot. Go check it out. So, this is very similar. Very similar from. Uh, uh, there was a vehicle that we had towed. Anyway. Uh, this is very similar to the North Delta Criterion that we had set up. A little bit smaller venue, um, but there's still lots of activities for the kids. Look at them go, just uh, breaking through here and a nice finish right there. Good job. So some of the activities for the kids, they have uh, bike racing for little kids to come out and ride. They got hot dog stands, different venues. Another thing to take note of too is this is actually televised so there's lots of camera crews that have set up down here um, seen a couple of people vlogging as well uh, we have riders from Germany from Hong Kong Japan um, the UK Russia so it's they're all over the place come from all different parts of the world to come race here yeah so we'll shut this down and fire it back up in a bit so as I was saying, this is uh, our mobile command center. This is for Delta Police. It's equipped with uh, an aerial with a CCTV camera that can rotate and everything. Uh, it's a well used portion for our mobile command center. I won't show you inside because that's uh, kind of a security area that Delta Police have. So yeah, it's a great system and it's a good addition to our fleet. So as, as I was saying, this is a televised event. Um, we have our mobile command center with us. Um, this is some of the equipment that they use. Some of the equipment they use to televise. It's a Boomreach HD camera. So this is the setup that they can use. This gentleman here, oh my goodness, one of my colleagues, Arvind Sharma. But yeah, that's uh, one of their aerial booms that they use to capture a lot of the racers. Morning everyone. Oh, Sunday today, I am so tired. Uh, it's about quarter after five Sunday morning. Um, it's overcast. It's gonna be a cool day today, which is a good thing. Um, but I'm heading out to Tawasa now, taking about 20 minutes drive to get out there. And yeah, this is the last day of the race, the three day race. Um, so we got to get out there, get the course set up for the riders. This one is more of a rolling closure where the riders, it's a longer ride for them. I believe it's something like uh, maybe about 15 kilometers uh, per lap. So it's a longer ride for them, but yeah, we'll get going. I got a drive ahead of me, so we'll get out there and we'll get things set up.
I'll talk to you guys when we get up there, okay? Bye.